Hey everybody, this is Bill Quinn from Quality PC Repair. I need to tell you something that is so important. Okay, I've been serving, uh, serving computer, uh, working on computers uh, since 2001 in St. Mary's, Calvary County. There is a malware out there that's infected a lot of computers. Fox 5 News uh, broadcast this yesterday. I managed to record that clip and I have it following this. You need to watch this. Now, if you can't follow, you have a problem following the directions at the end of that video, as far as detecting and removing that malware from your computer, give me a call. I'll have my phone number at the end of the video also. You can go to any one of these resources I, that I have. Okay, you've got my phone number up here, my website here, and you have my YouTube uh, down here. Uh, YouTube has a lot of videos that I have on there uh, that can uh, help you with your computer. Take a look at this, please. I'll watch the entire thing and pass it on to a friend. All right. Give me a call if you need my help. Bye. Installation. You may not be able to get online Monday if your computer has been hit by a very specific type of malware. It's called DNS Changer. A crime ring set it in motion back in 2007. Joining us tonight to sort all this out is Mark Kellner, the tech writer for the Washington Times. Mark, good to see you. I'm kind of curious. We're talking about 270,000 computers worldwide. That kind of seems like a small number for the FBI to take such drastic measures, setting up secondary servers, and then getting all this out. Does, does that seem small number to you? I mean, one person losing internet service is not great, but perspective well, here, right? Just like uh, with the power outage, it's a small number unless it's your house. Uh, losing internet connectivity, especially for people in this area, many of whom are federal workers, teleworking, uh, or are otherwise involved online, it becomes uh, a bigger issue. So what do customers need to do, and I, I guess I should broaden that out, not just customers of any specific internet provider, because we're talking about a lot here, but what should computer owners do? Well, the first thing they should do is go to a website called dcwg.org. That's dcwg.org. It has information on this domain changer malware. It has links to test for it. And then you're able to uh, see what's going on with your computer. And if you're okay, you have nothing to worry about. If you're not, they'll give you tips on how to fix it. What did this crime ring want to do with these infected computers? Well, they wanted to do several things, I think. The first thing was to direct you towards advertising sites so they'd earn illicit commissions. Uh, they'd get money for click-throughs on advertising so that you would, uh, you know, be diverted to those sites even though you didn't want to go there. And what happens if we don't go to this website? Does our computer stay infected? The computer will stay infected, and your access to the Internet will be curtailed because the clean servers that the FBI set up are going to be turned off on Monday. I believe it's 12.01 a.m. All right. Mark Kellner with the Washington Times. I actually went to that website with our work computer here up on the desk, and the, the computer's clean. Our bosses will be happy to know, but it seems pretty simple. And as you said, the FBI is involved here. so. It's uh, easy to do and, and, and safe to do as well. Thanks for coming in tonight. Thanks for having me. Let's give you a look at that FBI partnered website. It's there on your screen. You can also go to myfoxdc.com and click on web links. We'll get you to the same place so you can test your computer.